Archimedian. Archimedian. Archimedes of Syracuse provides us wonderful stories of the detached, abstract scientist. He was interested in pure mathematics, that is, math for math's sake. He did practical jobs to make a living. One day, the king asked him, Archimedes, is my new crown really made of solid gold? Archimedes thought about this as he was entering his bath that night. He dropped in, the water overflowed, and he shouted, Aha! Eureka! I've got it! And then he ran around town naked, uh, so happy he was, because he had discovered the measurement of volume via water displacement. He could weigh the crown, combine that with the volume, and solve for the density. Then he could take the crown and a known piece of solid gold and compare their densities. Another Archimedean anecdote has him as an old man at the age of 75. Syracuse, until then, had been a Greek city, but now the Romans were invading. During this time, Archimedes was deep in thought on a project, and a soldier came to him and demanded that Archimedes come with the soldier. This is annoying, right? He simply said to the soldier, don't disturb my circles. Math always comes first. And then the soldier killed him. <laughs> so, these stories might not be true, but they give us the sense of the Archimedean approach. We detach ourselves from the consequences of the real world in order to see the problem in its entirety. Ethics or personal influences can be removed while you are working. But as Archimedes' murder in indicates, it may not be the best way to live your entire life. The most used phrase to illustrate these ideas is the Archimedean point. This is the place where the investigator stands removed from the investigation. From this perspective, you can see the whole system without affecting it. Descartes was interested in this idea, but the phrase has really come into use along with the rise of quantum physics and the measurement problem. So, when you hear somebody talking about an Archimedean perspective, you can summarize their ideas in the words of Archimedes himself. Give me a place to stand and I will move the world. Hey, I'm not lazy. I'm just looking for my Archimedean point. Uh...